cultures exist, even if cultures are given an existence. I came here to teach a course at the invitation of Professor Hu Dongzhi, an alumnus of my department. He has been building a department of anthropology here. What I expect to be doing is mostly teaching my course and also learning Chinese. I'm really interested in trying to discuss the building of this program to see if there are ways in which we can help them with advice or in perhaps more material ways in this really very exciting moment. In China, only two top universities have departments of anthropology. It has had a very complicated history. Anthropology is a kind of secondary discipline under the category either sociology or ethnic studies. As China invests so much outside China, people go abroad, we have to learn more about other societies and cultures. Like other disciplines, like sociology, I would say at the beginning we always face challenges because they are not sure what exactly anthropology is about. So we have to persuade the university administrators, but also students, but their parents, you know, to allow their children to concentrate in this discipline. So we can China is set for a period of very considerable growth uh, in the development of anthropology and Shandong University may very well uh, play an extremely important uh, part in that. They are expressing a youthful anthropology. It's, this is very exciting, not just for China. I think it's going to be interesting for Harvard to continue to build on a relationship with a department that has every chance of really moving and shaking uh, on the side of the Pacific. Thank you.